Hello, today I will be sharing with you my trip to Kobe for Kobe beef and the Osaka Aquarium. Yay! Oh yes, and Kyoto as well. Kyoto was actually the previous capital city of Japan. It is a place filled with traditional Japanese culture. First stop, we visited the Fushimi Inari Shrine. It is famous for its endless path of Tori gates, which are these red arches built around the shrine. This is a beautiful place for photos. Apart from Tori gates, they also have a bamboo forest and a very stylish red bridge. I tried taking jumping photos on it. There's a street food area just around the corner. It's really cool. You can get both sweet and savory snacks there. I tried the Walabi Mochi. It's a sweet snack made with glutinous rice. It has a very soft and chewy texture, very similar to rice cakes. Kyoto is quite famous for their tofu, so we decided to give that a go. This is Kyoto Station. You can tell it's a very well designed building. The whole place is like a piece of art. Look at those stairs, it lights up with pictures. I felt really peckish, so I got a pot noodle as I watched my childhood cartoon Sailor Moon on TV. Oh yeah! For those of you who follow my blog, you probably know about my new braiding habit. I braided both sides of my hair to keep it off my face. My hair was really wavy and a bit crazy. Okay, enough of me. Let's go get some Kobe beef. Yes, we actually went to Kobe to get Kobe beef. <laughs> a friend of mine recommended a restaurant called Steakland. It was so good. I don't even know how to describe the beef. You don't need to chew it at all. It just dissolves in your mouth. If you're a steak fan, I highly recommend this place. After lunch, we went to an arcade around the corner. Seriously, Japanese arcades are so adorable. They have dozens of claw machines with super cute teddies. They also have lots of fun arcade games. Ooh, what's going on here? We took a ferry from the Universal City Station to the Osaka Aquarium. Yay, and we're here. I really think the aquarium looks like a Lego building. If you ever go to Osaka, the Osaka Aquarium needs to be on your to-do list. This aquarium has so much more than fish. Have a look. First, we have the otters. Seriously, where do you get otters from in an aquarium? It was quite tricky to capture them on camera because they swim so quickly. A giant hamster appeared! Penguins! You can tell that the aquarium put a lot of thought into making this crib for the penguins. They even created a snowfall area where the penguins can hang out and chill, just how they would normally do in the South Pole. Just look at them swim. I find it really relaxing watching them swim. It makes me want to swim too. It looks so nice swimming underwater. It's Mr. Ray! These crabs are huge! Check out this electric jellyfish. You can see all the currents inside it. These look like they have really long strands of hair. What is this? It's a very smiley seal, chilly. They're so creative with it. That must all my voice. They're so creative with their fluffy toys. I mean, what fluffy toys? Cuddly toys. They're so cute. We went to a soba restaurant for dinner. I had a duck broth with soba noodles. So this is what it looks like on the Ferris wheel. 
the night view of Osaka. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.